Today we're going to do one of two things. One, we're going to unbox a recent pickup that I got today. And second is going to be an upgrade from, you know, I'm a little, not a stickler, but you know, I like to see just uh, headlights. I want to see dislikes too, so we're going to upgrade this particular locomotive, all right? So let's get into it. Try to make it short, simple. And uh, also, if you didn't uh, subscribe, please subscribe, like the video. Anything you want to know, just ask your boy, all right? Let's get into it. What are you going to do with this guy right here? We're going to upgrade and give some dislikes, all right? Um, I'm assuming that it does not have uh, LEDs, so I'm gonna take these I got from Stradlers today, and uh, hopefully these come out pretty good. I'm gonna be using these right here because on this uh, prototype here that you see that got that type of dish light right there so that's what we're gonna do with this uh project right here so I got my tools ready all right I got me uh drill bits I'm a 50 and 51 I'm gonna rock out the 50 uh today to see what happens and um get some good screwdriver which was the other one I put it in. Well, you saw it. <laughs> the other one right here. So uh let's get into it and see. So open them up. Okay, inside I got the the new Athens newsletter here. What's this? This is my uh quick start guide here. And you have a one year limited warranty card with information, not card, but information here. Then you have your exploded parts guide. Okay. All right, everything has a number to it. There we go. So everything has a number to it. So if you have a breaking or falling off car, you can go to it and order it by the number. I'm gonna pull you up a little bit. Get a little, get a little higher there. Don't mind the mess. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna slide this bad boy out. These are uh, the newer st stuff, has it's kind of hard to get out the, out the uh, sleeve. But once again, the longest protect it yeah, doesn't matter right here you gotta I think this is the fuel tank details in here yeah I think the fuel tank details in here open this up make the soft plastic and we got these Check the handrails, so it's like standard all across the board now. And here we have the model. Uh, matter of fact, let's bring some more light up in here so we can see this, this uh, model a little bit more better. How about this? Dang. More light, right? So, uh, looking at it, it's not bad at all. Uh, see the detail there on the trucks. Let's see. Now, on the photo we saw, let's go over again. Let me see it. They see it right here. They got the number board sitting on the deck. But you see, it got the old 3438. So, I don't know. Depends. Do I really want to go crazy with it and use the number the new one or the old one so uh let's get this over here and try to do a side by side comparison for the prototype and the actual model 
Hulu and drop some of this light out. Right. Right. Now we can see uh, the detail. Got an 80, 909, so You see that it's uh, darkened right here. Also in the model. So you got windshield wipers here, which is cool. I uh, got the windows, the mirrors right here, which is good. Uh, Capsule box, which is right here, which is pretty good also. Um, let's see. The doors, yeah, got the same doors. Three handles. Okay, this doesn't have that sticker, but we're going to add that. See the yellow sticker there, here, here. Let's see. Two red ones. Another door. With the two yellows and the white, two yellows and the white. The bottom. Let's see, I have different stickers here. I got a yellow one, but right here is a little different. There's a white one there. So, uh, pretty much, yeah, pretty much spot on. Pretty much, for the most part. Uh, fuel tank. Let's see. Got them guys down in here. Okay, that's good. That, right there. Okay, we're here. We're going to have to paint that red. That's red, that's fine. Here, we can paint this uh, silver. The trucks. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty much good. Hmm. Well, I love it. So let's take out the shoe. Let's see what we get inside. Alright, inside, you can just kind of see that it's kind of glued on in there. So I gotta be careful. And break the. Uh, so uh i got a f3 i'm sorry uh, um yeah f3 and f4 function also so if i can get some uh, add some stuff more stuff to this i want to I don't know. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take it off. Uh, you can see it. I'm sorry. Let's zoom in here. You see inside how you got the um, was it positive and negative on each and positive and negative, and it's, it's glued onto the back of here to the uh, the lights itself, like I would do. So I think we handle this. I'm about to take that off and. Uh, Tape this up and drill my holes. Uh, yeah, it's speaker right here. So, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So, completely detached. These are LEDs in here. Looking at the prototype, I'm looking at this. I think I'm gonna drill the hole. Let me think. Uh, right around here. All right. Full hole has been drilled. A little, a little big though, but uh, it's all right. Get around here. Drill it in. Have my uh, two holes drilled there. Right, moving along, I'm gonna grab uh, 
this right here. But you, you gotta clean these castings a little bit. Try to get this bad boy out. Without dropping the lenses. Oh, that's a lens drop out also. Right there. So. See right there? Oh. See right there, drill the holes in them. Get it cleaned out. First time always the hardest. The second time it goes right on in. See that? All right, let's get. Well, it's not gonna come out. But all right, so now <clears throat> we use the LED. So I can't go through the car body with this fat. Well, this piece where I can't go through the car body because it's too big. For the hole, and all right, the hole's already massive for already it is, so I don't want to uh, keep going into it. So, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is now stick this LED to the holes. So, we're gonna take some more uh, Bob Smith glue. Open, make sure it's good to go. Uh, appears to be clear, so let's see. Put some on. Oh, oh, oh. Be careful because this stuff comes out quick. Right. Little drop is all I need. So, place my LED. All right, now you want to make sure that the LED is pretty much in the dead center of this uh, casting, going down straight. So we're gonna do is take a little, a little drop wire kicker and hold it in place. Just a little dip, and that's it. Careful, cause I, I dig. See what? Ah, I'm supposed to get off with this one, boy. Sheesh. See, that? gotta be careful <laughs> when using kicker and this type of glue, cause this is some strong shit. Gotta be careful. I can tell. What you can tell? Is that glue or finger? I think it's glue. Uh, but anyway. Pull up and take a look that we have the LEDs situated in there and I don't look too bad at all. Back here with my little tester. What is a non-volt battery? Yep, non-volt battery. Test this LED I got here. So I'm gonna take this lead. Take this lead and it claims that it'll go both ways. So let's see if that's true or not. I don't know. So let's test it out. All right, cool. Let me hold that down. All right, now you see you got the LED on. 
and it uh, looks good. Let's see that. All right. So let's test it. Let's go here now and down here. Okay, so no, it doesn't go both ways. Let me show. Oh, Allah. It, something else wasn't touching. So it does go both ways. So that's pretty neat. Okay, so you are so okay, so these are LEDs also. Okay. Uh, here we got the dish lights in on both sides. Uh, they look symmetrical and it looks good so far. And next we're gonna try to not gonna try, we're gonna put everything back together. Use a uh, CV that's on this uh well outputs on this uh decoder here from the factory and we'll see what we get. Then finally we'll go in and color the silver uh black and do a little weathering to uh blend everything in. <laughs> 